มุยเป็นเมืองท่องเที่ยวแต่ว่ากันดานเลยคิดว่าเราก็ตั้งกู้ภัยกับมูลนิธิขึ้นมาจะช่วยชาวบ้านได้มากกว่าของเด็กเด็กชุดของเด็กอ่ะยังมีใช่ไหมแต่รู้ด้วยนะว่าคนที่เล่นเด็กมาเราต้องเพราะว่าเด็กของผู้ใหญ่มันจะไม่ continue to work to this job is uh is smooth is uh บัตรของเรามีตาฟังของเรามีเงินไปนะ please and uh have to be take care of them to help yeah แล้วปกติคุณลุงมีงานประจำหรืออะไรหรือเปล่าคะก็ขายอะไรรถยนต์เจ้าหน้าที่ที่รับบัตรดูด้วยนะคะรับบัตรดูด้วยนี่ไม่ได้ไม่ได้หวังไม่ได้หวังสิ่งตอบแทนนะเพื่อชาวบ้านคือรอบเกาะเลยรถชนที่ไหนเราก็พาไปส่งโรงพยาบาลเจ้าหน้าที่ที่รับบัตรนะคะเจ้าหน้าที่ถ้าผู้ใหญ่ถือบัตรสีน้ำเงินมาสีเทลโฟรฟรีและพี่ก็มีงานทำที่นี่ก็จะทำที่นี่เพราะว่าเขาชอบทำงานที่นี่และเขาชอบทำงานที่นี่และเขาชอบทำงานที่นี่และเขาชอบทำงานที่นี่และเขาชอบทำงานที่นี่ Yeah, I've just come over to talk to this guy who's a Simari rescue volunteer, but he's he's too busy to talk, which is quite right actually. So we'll let him get we'll let him get on with his job. So here we go. This is one of the other ends of the uh, of the area of the temple area, and it's fantastic because the kids are using this as like a really nice comfy play zone. What happens is that a lot of people on the island also donate bedding, uh, shirts, clothes, cotton goods. Fabric material, anything that uh, any any anything you don't want that's in reasonable condition, and then the people who have come here today for the food collection are able to also pick up some new bedding or some new clothes or whatever they really need. And there's a very sweet thing is that they're doing it with such great dignity. There's no fighting or bit troublesomeness. It's all very sweet, and uh, everyone seems to be having a good time. <coughs> ผมอยู่เป็นอาสาอยู่พื้นที่นายทนค่ะอ่า he work for four year here and he stand by here นายทน place ทำงานที่นี่กี่ปีแล้วคะห้าปีครับห้าปีแล้วอยู่ประจำด้วยกันอยู่ศิลางูครับประจำศิลางูศิลางูศิลางูศิลางูตรงไหนคะลำไมครับมีงานประจำไหมคะหรือว่ามาช่วยเหลือที่นี่ไม่ก็อยู่ประจำทำที่นี่ประจำเลยค่ะค่ะ He work here every day. <laughs> One of the uh, things that's very dear to our hearts uh, on Simuri Life TV and our Community Watch program is to try and impress on people how dangerous it is on the roads here. We've all got uh, lost uh, friends and acquaintances over the over the years, and uh, it doesn't get any better. It's getting worse and worse and worse. We all know people who would have been alive today had they been wearing helmets and. and uh, Even last night, every every time I go anywhere to talk to anybody, we always talk about somebody somewhere who who's died. And these are tally boards that Simui Rescue have put together, and they put them here today, so we can see like a a horrible scoreboard of tragedy, really. The, the, they even make coffins here for people who uh, don't have any money. The Simui Rescue organization is 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 a much wider umbrella than I'd actually realised, and I've been here for for some time. So yeah, we've got we've got a tally here. Of, yeah, fatality. So, guys, just please get helmets and and wear them. u b a t i h e t i t n t a n t k u n every four hours. I think it's 300 people not enough for for help. You know, because can ha can happen any time and a lot yeah. every night, every minute. Yeah. 300, but uh, 300 people yeah. is not. Yeah, I'm I'm with Apple on this. We know it. The the number of people who are volunteering for Samui Rescue, 300 people and five foreigners to cover the island this size. But the number of uh, uh, danger uh, fatalities and uh, crashes and it's it's such a dangerous place to drive. And I if anyone's thinking of volunteering, we'll be giving information on how to uh, how to do that and also how to donate later on. The next horrible thing down here is the photograph board. Yeah, this is uh, this is not for the squeamish, but this is the reality of, of what what we don't really see, and what the uh, volunteers know too well, which is why they're so happy today to be doing something which makes them gives them pleasure, giving food rather than putting corpses into uh, body bags. I'd like you to introduce you to a great friend of mine. This is Lynn Gregory, and she's one of the volunteers on the island, and it's through her that we became aware very much of what Samui Rescue were doing. So she's one of many. And uh, how long have you been doing it, Lynn? For about three years. Yeah. 
And how often do you go? Do you work as a volunteer? How many days a week or nights? Well, everybody is on a volunteer basis, and it, we fit it into our schedule. So usually, I'm in on at the uh, main on station one to two nights a week. Okay, and you cover right through the night. Wow! Well, <laughs> after midnight, one or two o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So Lynn's doing nights in Maynam. So there are stations. How many stations are there on the island? There are eight around the island. Um, so eight stations. Where are they? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can remember. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Pailem, uh, Boput, uh, Maynam, Lamai, uh, Raja, uh, Saket, and two in Natan, here at the headquarters and at the, um, at the Wat downtown. So you're covering the whole island uh, pretty much 24 hours a day with volunteers, aren't you? Yeah, the standby stations are, we, we have physical or geographical you know, locations. As I say, I, I'm out of Maynam. So that goes to the foot of the hill that goes to Natan, Bangpo area, all the way to Boput, because then Boput takes over that geographical area. Lynn, if there was one thing that you, or if you had a very short four or five things that you could wish for, one maybe being more volunteers, another might be some more funding, what would be the few things that you would say to people about being safe on the island? Well, the number one problem that we have are people... Um, that don't know motorcycles and motorbikes and don't wear helmets. And it's very discouraging to scrape up somebody's, you know, head or, or you know, off, off the pavement because it could have easily been stopped if they had worn a helmet. When I first joined uh, Samui Rescue, I had two missions. And, or one mission with two parts. Uh, the first one was that most of the Ferengs were totally unaware that Samui Rescue existed. And so I took it upon myself to get the word out. It's a wonderful organization, well trained, doesn't cost anything, we're all volunteers, and yet we need money to, to uh, do. So the second thing was to do some fundraising. And because I've been around here for quite a while, um, I was able to make a lot of contacts with organizations, give speeches, and and of course, uh, most of them have raffles and all that kind of thing. And so we've been able in the last couple of years to generate over two million baht. And that's been very helpful. I think uh, one, of the things, one of the things that we can do, this is part of a community watch program that we're doing on our channel. And one of the things we want to find a way to do is help find ways to raise money as well, become involved in fundraising activities. So we can let people know what's happening, when things are going on, and how to become part of all that. Alan, Mr. Alan Bruis was just saying that last year there were a thousand bags, and uh, more than a thousand bags. And this year, there's, there's just not enough bags. There's more bags this year, and even more people are here. I think one thing that we all tend to forget is how difficult the economic situation is. And it's not just people who are, it's not just the rich, it's everyone. There's people on this island, and this is a great effort. It's not obvious until you get out into no. the small stories no. and you see the yeah. small villages. And yeah. So what Alan is saying is that it's not until you get off the beaten track a little bit. We all tend to, you know, we know our resorts and our big roads and Tesco. If you come in from the roads into the small backwaters a little bit, and then people are, ve they live very, very simply indeed. And uh, yeah, it's very hard for them a lot of the time. Well, it's been an honor to be here today because I had absolutely no idea what, would, what it would be like, even though Lynn had explained it to us. And it's not until you're actually here with people that it all becomes a bit more real. So I hope this encourages you to maybe wear a helmet, maybe encourage your friends to wear helmets, and somehow find a way to become involved in the community, as we will do through Community Watch. Thanks very much indeed for watching. <laughs> ขอบคุณที่เกิดเรื่องราวนี้เกิดขึ้นในสมุยในวันนี้แล้วก็หวังว่าทุกคนคงจะปลอดภัยไม่มีอุบัติเหตุหวังว่าคงจะลดลงเ